Kanjan Chaudhary, India's first woman DGP who changed the face of police. Kanjan Chaudhary, the tribalizing IPS officer who was India's first woman DGP and second woman IPS officer after Kiran Bedi, went on to become a national icon for entire generation of Indian women. She lived a life of service. Born in Himachal Pradesh, she grew up under very difficult circumstances. Kanjan's parents were thrown out of their grandfather's house over a domestic dispute when she was just seven years old. Her parents, however, dusted themselves and worked hard to cultivate a fallow piece of farmland which was their ancestral property. But it wasn't easy and her parents struggled to make ends meet. Once the land has begun to yield an income, her grandfather's family sold it to notorious local smugglers. These that came armed to the land and threw dad and his helpers out. My father almost lost his life to these thugs. Dad went to court against it. From then on, I remember my father going to different courts to follow upon increasing number of legal cases. I too started going from office to office trying to get the police to register a case against my father's aggressors. I appealed to senior police officers, the governor of the state and also then PM Mrs. Indra Gandhi. She tells in Life Beyond Numbers. Following this experience, she had a burning desire to join Indian Police Service to serve justice. She did her schooling from Amritsar and college from Delhi. Nonetheless, working in a heavily male-dominated profession had its real share of challenges. She was the only woman among 90 men during her training, and her instructors thought that she would just quit the service. However, she was made of sterner stuff and made it through. In fact, she believed that being a woman and possessing the quality of patience and empathy helped her police better because people trusted her more. Her first position came in 1975 when she took over as additional superintendent of police at Mahalihabad in Lucknow district, an area famous for its dashery mangoes and dacots. Within a year, 13 of them were named by the police, including a certain Makkan Singh who had evaded the police for over a decade. One of the major cases that she handled included the brutal murder of seven-time badminton champion Syed Modi, who was gunned down by unknown assailants in 1987 in Lucknow. Kanchan would go on to investigate other high-profile cases like Reliance Bombay dying case beside other white-collar crimes. For her efforts, she was awarded the Polish Medal for Meritorious Service in 1989. She also was awarded President's Medal for Distinguished Service in 1997 and Rajiv Gandhi's Award for Excellent All-Round Performance and as an Outstanding Woman Achiever in 2004. However, what really gave her satisfaction was helping other women in distress, particularly those suffering from domestic violence and sexual assaults. Speaking to the Tribune, she talks about one particular case in Meerut when she was posted as DIG. One day, a badly beaten woman came to me. She told me that her husband has been assaulting her. I looked into the matter and followed it up for several weeks. A few months later, I saw a good-looking woman breeze into my office with a smile on her lips. She was the same woman. It gave me so much of joy. It gave me goosebumps whenever I think about it. So there have been a number of such cases and my joy has been that I have been able to contribute towards improving other people's lives, she says. Subsequently, as the first woman DGP of the state, that is Uttarakhand, she battled the bias against women in service. She took the initiative of giving women home guards the responsibility of manning traffic points in the cities. Kanjan's parents supported their daughter throughout and also helped her in raising her two daughters. When she retired in 2007, her father Madan Mohan Chaudhary went from Amritsar to Uttarakhand to be with her daughter at the farewell function. She passed away on 26th August 2019. In losing Kanjin, the country has lost an icon of Indian Police Service. In other words of IPS Association, she was an officer with sterling quality of head and heart, who never felt the need to impose physical violence upon suspects to give them an answer. One can say this for very few police officers in this country. What difference should she bring in system? I became a co-op to help people. I didn't want anyone to be treated the way my father had been treated. I spent at least three hours a day to meet those from weaker section of the society. On an average, I met 50 of them, mostly women. Toughness should, however, not be a weakness. She wants women cops. They should not ape men. 
Why do we need women in police force to bring in sensitivity, kindness, affection and fellow feeling that women are known for? We need smiling faces in police force. We need women to change the bad image the police have had, she stated. Jai Hind.